really good at skateboarding. I think Fred is better. But Fred has a better skateboard. Fred always says he has a better skateboard, but I think he's just trying to sell more skateboards for his uncle's shop. I wonder how many different types of skateboards they are. Let's find out. Hey, Barry. Wait for us. Come on, Susie. I wonder if they have pink skateboards. What's up, Penny? We were talking about skateboards. Really? You guys were talking about skateboards? I said that Fred was better than you are, but Susie says it's because he has a better board. So tell us the answer. Is Fred better? Well, Fred actually is better, but his type of board makes a big difference also. Interesting. They are actually different types of boards. Look at my board. See how the deck is bowed and curved a little? I thought it was just because of your weight caused it to bend. No, it's designed that way. But now look at Fred's board. See, his board has even more curve in the deck. Oh, that is interesting. But why? The more curve you have in the deck, the more control you can get. So you can do more difficult tricks. So why don't you have a board like Fred's? Those boards are more expensive. They're harder to make to put the right bend in them. I just couldn't afford one. What kind of board is that? That's a longboard. They're used for cruising. Can you do tricks on a longboard? Not really, but if you have a nice long slope, you can build up a lot of speed on a longboard. Interesting. Thanks, Barry. You taught me something new today. I don't think I'll take up skateboarding. Whatever. So, are we meeting at the money tree in the morning? I need to go to the bank in the morning, but I can go after we meet at the money tree. Cool! I need to go to the bank too. See you then. Hey, so what's the plan? We're just hanging out until Susie shows up. She and I both need to go to the bank. Why do you guys need to go to the bank so often? Do you need to count your money every day? Here comes Susie. She knows more about banks than anyone. Morning, guys. Are you ready, Penny? Going to count your money, eh? Whatever. I need to take some money out from my savings account and put it into a CD. You're going to put your money into a CD? Is it a music disc, a movie, or what? Not that kind of CD. CD stands for Certificate of Deposit. A what? Banks are so confusing. Let's go to the bank. It might be easier to explain there. Let's get in line for a teller. Hey, look. It's Mr. Fortune in front of us. Good morning, Mr. Fortune. Good afternoon, Susie. What are you doing here today? I need to put some money in a CD. And I need to deposit some money I earned yesterday doing chores. What about you, Barry? Do you have a bank transaction to make? I don't even have any money, and banks are confusing to me. Too many things I don't understand. Well, let's see if I can help you understand them a little better. What would you like to know more about? I thought there were only two types of accounts, checking and savings. But Susie was talking about a CD. It's like skateboards, Barry. Just like there are different types of skateboards for doing different things, there are also different kinds of accounts at a bank. That's right, Sense, and each account has a different purpose. Like what? Well, a basic savings account is good for getting started saving money. There is no limit on how little or how much money you put into it. And it pays you interest. The bank pays you for letting it use your money. A regular checking account usually doesn't pay any interest, but they are very handy for paying bills or buying things at the store. You can write a check or use a bank card. So why not just have one account? Well, you could, but such accounts usually have a minimum age requirement. And you kids are just a little too young for this. So, what's a CD then? A certificate of deposit. It's like a savings account. But you can't just withdraw your money anytime you want. Why would I want to put money in an account that I can't get it back? Oh, you can get it back, but you need to wait until it matures. That means the money has to stay in the account for a set amount of time. Like three months to a year. Or even two years. And the sooner you start saving, the sooner you start earning more money. And when you save even longer, you get even more money. I want to open an account now. You need to get some money first, Barry. I know why I know. I'll try not to spend all of my allowance this week. Well, it's my turn at the telly window. I'll talk to you kids later. 
students will discover the many ways and methods they can use to pay for stuff. Each method has its own pros and cons. Paying by cash is the most common and oldest way. The good thing about paying with cash is that you are spending money that you have. Another method used especially when paying for a larger amount is by using checks. To use checks, you need to have a current account. This is a good method because you don't have to carry lots of money around. E-banking is becoming more and more famous these days as the technology has advanced over the years. They are able to pay for stuff from the comfort of their own home. Another method used is by borrowing through credit cards or loans. Even though this method allows you to buy stuff without paying first, there is risks involved. So, be very careful when you borrow money. 